Hi, this is Raheem Sulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to show both the values and percentage in the bar charts. So primarily, uh, if you have used Power BI, you have seen and came across uh, this kind of data labels where you have the amount and the percentage, uh, both are visible on the visuals. So primarily in Power BI donor chart, if I go to the formatting option, so you can find the detail labels and in the donor chart, you can see amount and percentage because we have already this feature available in the format menu, detail labels and the label contents with data value and percentage of total. So we can just click on it and we can have the amount and percentage directly in the donut chart. But when it comes to the column chart or the bar charts, we don't have such uh, functionality available directly. And we need to create a DAX and do some tips and tricks uh, to achieve this. So in the very first visual, you can see here, I have created this column chart where I can see the amount and the percentages as well respectively okay so the sum of these percentage will be 100 this is customer segment wise uh, total orders amount okay another visual we have this is stack column chart where we have uh, different uh, boxes allocated because this is based on uh, province wise customer segment so we can see two provinces and based on this we have uh, in the in the stack column chart we have assigned uh, the customer segment so you can see the amount as well as the percentage in each of the volume respectively okay so every province uh, that is now british columbia is basically uh, there are different customer segments and this the sum of this bar will be 100 percent so how to achieve this in order to see the number and the percentage both on the visualization and the column chart okay so let's get start uh, what we'll do is we will add a visual here so right click add visual and we will put total orders that is already we have we have the explicit measure let's drag and drop or you can add from here as well okay so you can type the initials and you can uh, add from here then what we need is customer segment so we'll add the customer segment to this right so we have a bar chart we'll select let's say we will select the clustered column chart now what we can do is we can turn on the data labels in the format menu so you can click on here and you can see we have the amount uh, data labels available here but not as a percentage so the very first thing is uh, you need to change the visual type and we will be selecting here this type which is line and clustered column chart okay so let's click here and we will add an explicit measure so let's click on new measure and we'll write a logic here first let's give a name revenue underscore percentage you can you can give any name you would like to okay that's for my understanding here so we'll start with divide explicit in the numerator we'll put total orders okay then let's go to the next line or enter key uh, you'll use a DAX called calculate uh, the expression would contain similar total orders comma then we'll add another DAX which is called remove filters and based on which category uh, or you can say field that is on customers table customer segment because we are uh, showing customer segment here on this particular visual so we'll put uh, this particular column here in the remove filters let's close the brackets and press the enter key now once we create this particular explicit measure we will put this explicit measure in here line y-axis okay so let's click on add data and we'll put revenue underscore percent let's click let's check this so once you enable this this will look like uh, in the column chart as a line okay now what we need is we need to hide this line we don't need this line and we need to convert these numbers as a percentage okay so that's very uh, easy to do let 
all right so first thing is that uh, we'll click on so we will click on this explicit measure and we'll go to the major tools tab where we can find the formatting option option there so we'll click on percentage sign the next thing is we'll go to the lines and here we will make this width into zero so no line has been uh, visible here now that so in the data labels we'll select uh, the explicit measure which we created and uh, what we need is we so we'll turn off the background here okay so then let's turn off background as you can see and we will make this value as in white font format and increase the size right so this is how we can add the numbers and the percentages uh, in this particular visual so let me show you what this visual was this is basically line and clustered column chart where we created an explicit measure and we'll do we did some tips and tricks of formatting area to get the percentage and the numbers the next visualization uh, which we have is uh, a different one and this is basically called uh, stack column chart where we have put the customer segment in the legend total orders in the y axis and province in the x axis and let's see what happens uh, initially when we create this so right click add visual and this time we'll select uh, this stack column chart which is rightly selected right now what we'll do we'll put total orders let's drag and drop or you can add from here as well uh, let's change the type in stack column chart okay so in the x-axis we'll put province that's coming from customers table and now we can see so in the legend we'll put customer segment that coming from customers table so now we have this stack column chart okay so you can see uh, different uh, volumes there province wise now what we need is because our space is limited we don't need to see all the provinces uh, we'll just take highest two provinces so we'll go to filters and we'll go to the province we'll select top n right to here based on total orders let's drag and drop apply filter all right now what we'll do is we'll create an explicit measure first so again let's click on the table new measure so let's write a name for the explicit measure percentage of province okay, you can give any name you would like to again the similar logic we'll start with divide explicit measure is name as total orders let's go to the next line calculate expression as total orders we need our number here to be returned and we need to remove filters based on customers table customer segment okay in your case it would be def definitely a different field to uh, apply so what we'll now do is here data labels let's click on so we can see the amounts here but we need the percentages as well so for that we have uh, data labels all right so in the data labels we scroll down and we have a section called detail let's make it on and we will add that explicit measure which is percentage of province okay this one so we'll add this as soon as i add you can see here 0, 0.0 m which is technically not right because we need to have uh, as in percentage so we'll, what we're going to do is we we'll go to that explicit measure and click on percentage all right so now it's showing 0, 0.0 m percentage now it's still not correct so we'll, what we're going to do is what we will do the to correct this numbers as a percentage so in the detailed i will scroll down and in the display units we'll click none all right now we can get the uh, the correct format of the percentage from here that's uh, absolutely perfect okay 
so now you have learned that how to enable the amount as well as percentages in the stack column chart as